Welcome to the first lecture in Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be providing an overview of all of the topics covered in the course, as well as briefly discussing the prerequisites required. This is, uh, as the name implies, Advanced PHP with MySQL. This is an advanced PHP course that's aimed at uh, prior PHP developers, so developers that already have PHP experience. And what it's aimed at is teaching uh, those developers to be able to add database-driven um, functionality to their website. So we're going to be learning how to integrate a MySQL database uh, into your web applications. This course is specifically a direct continuation of the Introduction to PHP course uh, that I had have taught here at Educator.com, and so for those of you that uh, it's not a prerequisite that you've taken this course, but for those of you that have taken that course here, uh, you'll be able to see the uh, how the material from there is going to continue uh, directly in this course. The content of this advanced course is basically going to break down into three different categories. We're going to be covering advanced PHP concepts, which is going to be stuff like uh, learning about how to perform file input and output. We're going to be learning about um, how to use sessions um, and then cookies and so forth. We're also, this course is also going to provide an introduction to object-oriented programming. So it assumes you have no prior knowledge of that, and we're going to learn about the basics of what object-oriented programming it is and how to use it in PHP. And we're going to provide an introduction to what databases are, specifically the MySQL database. And we're going to cover the basics of uh, the most common SQL commands, which is a structured query language, uh, which are commands that you use to interact with a database. Uh, a main feature of this course is building up this mock web application that we call the Educator Store. Uh, we're going to be continuing building upon uh, the application that we developed in the introductory course. Um, and what we do is the way the course is going to proceed is that we're going, I'm going to introduce topics, we're going to go over some lecture examples, we'll have a, a homework assignment, and then we're going to take the material that we've learned and integrate it into this um, web application uh, so we can see sort of material learned in a real world example. Uh, so basically more or less what's going to happen is we'll have one lecture on uh, material and new topics and then we'll have a lecture that follows that that is basically integrating that material into this web application. Um, if we can go ahead and take a look at our educator store course, excuse me, our educator store web, website, uh, this is the application that we're going to be developing. Um, it's basically a simple, a simple store with a number of different departments in it where you have uh, different items that you can choose uh, that has information about the items that we're going to be able to pull from a database. You'll be able to add items to a cart. Um, so, for example, we can add a basketball and a uh, t-shirt. Uh, you'll have, be able to remove items from the cart. You can check out. Um, and what that'll allow you to do is enter, uh, for example, um, shipping information. So I'll just show you quickly what this looks like. And what you'll be able to do is go ahead and submit an order, and it'll actually store the order in the database. So we're going to be developing um, on the front end of the store this shopping cart functionality that we just sort of looked at. On the back side, we're going to be creating an administrator website called the Educator Admin Site, uh, where we'll be able to uh, log in and then perform um, administrative functions on the site. For example, um, we'll be able to add a new department to the store if we wanted to using this interface. Let's create a department called Winter, Winter Close. And then we can add items to our department. So we would be able to select the winter clothes department, and we want to add our winter jacket to it, and then add it to our department. And then what we'll be able to do is this is going to be making changes directly in a MySQL database. And then now when we go back to our home page, we'll be able to directly see that those changes on the admin site show up in the store. So now we have a winter clothes department. We can see that it has this winter jacket that was already in another department. And we can add it to a cart and check out with it uh, just as before. Uh, additionally, there's a uh, view order section of this administrative website where you'll be able to go and view any orders that uh, users have, have placed. For example, we can look at the second order that was placed that was of this value at this time, and it, this is the order that we just placed, and it shows the item number and the quantity and so forth. Um, and so it's going to store information about those orders, and we're going to learn how to implement all this. Initially, uh, a lot of this is going to be done in a file-based 
database system. Uh, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to learn about file input and output to implement uh, the storage of this data. For example, information about the items in the departments in files. Then we're going to migrate it as the course progresses into over into a MySQL database and then just continue to add uh, functionality to it, such as being able to update things, delete things, for example, deleting departments, being able to view orders, and so forth. And then as part of our uh, user authentication, we'll be able to log out. Um, and so we can implement the, we'll learn how to implement a basic uh, user authentication uh, login, logout system. Um, so just as, as mentioned, what we'll be creating is a session-based shopping cart uh, that's going to utilize cookies, which is a term you may have heard about before. If not, we're going to learn about that in the course. Um, we're going to learn how to create a MySQL backend for this website that's going to allow us to store all of the data about the store's items, about its departments, about orders placed. And then we're going to be developing that separate administrative interface uh, to do things like we saw, like adding new departments, uh, deleting departments to be able to view orders and so forth. And we're going to learn how to implement a basic user authentication system for that that's going to allow us to basically, when a user logs in, to verify against a MySQL database um, if that username and password for a particular user uh, are valid, for example. As far as object-oriented programming goes, um, this course is going to provide an introduction to it. Um, so we're going to assume no prior knowledge of object-oriented programming. We're going to talk some of the topics that we're going to talk about as it relates to object-oriented programming are classes and objects, which are two terms you may have heard used before, and they're basic object-oriented functionality programming concepts. We're going to be learning about those. We're going to be learn how we're going to be learning how to create your own user-defined classes, and then we're going to learn how that how you can use object-oriented functionality to basically uh, improve your code and to make it uh, more flexible, for example. So we're going to learn about the benefits of why you also use object-oriented programming. So MySQL, as you may already know, is a, or likely know if you uh, chose to take this course, is a relational, it's called an RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. And basically it's a system that is used to manage and store large amounts of data. For example, maybe you have a store with 1,000 items in it and you want to store all the information about it. Or you have um, 100 customers and you want to store all of their addresses and so forth. Uh, you use a, uh, typically use a, a relational database to do that. And MySQL is a relational database with sort of a system uh, built on top of it that allows you to manage that database and interact with it. Um, a main feature of this course is not only will we be learning about how to set up a MySQL database and how to interact with it using what's known as SQL, which is structured query language, we're also going to learn most Im as importantly is how to do that from PHP code. So there's sort of two different topics we're going to be covering. We're covering how to use a database, how to set up a database, and then we're going to cover how to take what we know about databases and implement that so that we can interact with it in our PHP code. So as far as um, interacting with databases, uh, students are going to learn how to query a database, which is request information from a database. Say, For example, say, um, give me all of the orders in the, in the database that were placed in the last month. Um, you're also going to learn about inserting, updating, and deleting entries in the database. And these actually directly correspond to um, SQL commands, structured query language commands, which you may have heard about before. And then when you query a database, it's actually known as a select command. And so we're going to learn about these four different commands and how to use them. Uh, first, and, and just as using a database as you would through MySQL, just in plain MySQL, and then also through PHP. So for example, one of the things that we're going to be doing as we're actually going to be working at the command prompt, there's a pro program we're going to learn about called MySQL Monitor, which basically allows you to connect to a MySQL database and do things like run queries and run these SQL commands you were talking, we were talking about. So for example, um, something you'll learn about is a select query. Let's say we want to pull up inf information about all of the items in our particular store. We can run a query from this uh, MySQL monitor program, and this is something you're going to see um, run live in the code in the lectures, and you'll be able to see the results of that. And so what you're going to do is get to, you're going to learn about the commands, and then you're also going to get to see them uh, in action. So this basically is our way of teaching MySQL and SQL and how to learn to run commands and how to learn about MySQL databases. And then we're going to move it and shift it over to where we're actually going to be doing this sort of interaction, not from a uh, command line, but from a PHP program. So just to cover a little more specifically the topics that we're going to um, examine in this course, we're going to learn about file input and output. We're going to learn how to read from and how to write to files. 
we're going to learn the details of the HTTP POST method. And specifically, we're going to learn how to upload files using HTTP POST method. And what that's going to allow us to do is actually on our um, administrative interface site, when we add a new item to the store, as you saw in the store, all of our items have images. Um, we're going to learn how to be able to upload an image for a new item, for example. And we're going to learn about the details of the HTTP uh, POST method in order to do that. And if you don't know what that is, we'll be learning about that in this course. Uh, as mentioned, we're going to be covering the basics of object-oriented programming. We're also going to talk a bunch about um, what cookies are and something known as, as state. And we're going to talk about how we can use cookies and functionality built into PHP to implement sessions. And basically what that's going to allow us to do is implement our shopping cart. And sessions, um, if you don't have experience with that, that's fine. We're going to be learning about that. That's going to allow you to basically, um, basically track one user interaction from another. So for example, when a user adds an item to a shopping cart, and then they view another item, uh, like when you go to Amazon.com, for example, you can see, OK, you have one item in your cart. Well, you implement that functionality using sessions, and we're going to learn about that. Uh, we're going to learn about how to set up a MySQL database and what, what a MySQL database is and how to interact with it on a basic level. We're going to talk about the details of SQL, or the Structured qu Query Language. As mentioned, we're going to learn about the select um, command, and we're also going to learn about the insert, update, and delete commands, which are basically the four most common commands that you'll be using um, uh, with MySQL. And so we're going to learn about how to use those in this MySQL monitor uh, uh, client program, and then we're going to learn how to implement those in PHP, which actually is this next bullet point. We're going to learn how to access a MySQL database from PHP, and then we're also going to learn how to implement uh, basic user authentication system, where we're going to take what we've learned about PHP, um, about using MySQL from PHP, and be able to query or request inf uh, information from our MySQL database and say, does this user exist in the database with this username and password? And we're going to show how to implement um, restrict access to pages based on uh, whether that user exists or not. So um, you may have already figured out the course prerequisites from uh, what we've talked about in the slides. Uh, basically, you just need a solid understanding of the basics of the PHP language. Uh, and sort of what I'm going to use as, as the defining um, characteristics of what the prerequisites for the, for the course is, is that you have an understanding of all the material covered in my introduction to PHP course here at um, educator.com. So as long as you, it's the only knowledge that you'll need to know about PHP is anything that's been covered in that course. If it hasn't been covered in there, you don't need to know about it. Uh, so for those of you that haven't taken that course and uh, have some PHP experience, you can go there and look at the lessons and see that if you understand everything. And if not, take lessons and um, learn about the material that is going to be used in this course. And also you can use it as a way to brush up on uh, any material uh, to prepare for this course. And uh, it's also assumed that for this course, students are going to have no prior experience with either object-oriented programming or with working with databases. Um, and that's one of the main features of this course is that we're um, going to be, uh, for databases, for example, assuming you've never worked with a database before, so we're going to teach you the basics of how to set it up, how to create it, how to interact with it, and then how to use it from PHP. And then object-oriented programming, we're going to introduce that as if you have no object-oriented um, program background. If you have either background with either of these, that's great. It's going to help uh, in the understanding of the material, uh, but it's uh, definitely this course is, is was designed uh, so that you don't have prior uh, need to have prior knowledge or experience with these uh, two areas. So that ends today's lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com, and look forward to seeing you next time.